Hi, I'm Christy Hill, Naturalist Coordinator at the Chattahoochee Nature Center. Join us as we journey down to the wetland forest by the Chattahoochee River. Hi, I'm Christy Hill from the Chattahoochee Nature Center and I'm here today to talk a little bit about a forest and a very special animal and why this forest and this habitat is so important. This is a barred owl, a riparian raptor who depends on wetlands near a river or another body of water to find all of her habitat needs. She actually shares a niche or a niche with the red-shouldered hawk as well. So this animal is very adapted to live in a wetland habitat. She has the incredible eyesight. She can see in dark places at nighttime, probably six to eight times better than we can. Her hearing is incredible. And her tools that she has here, her sharp beak and her talons for catching prey and for dispatching it quickly are what has her surviving so well in a place where she can find food. This forest is perfect for her. She looks for all types of animals that live in a wetland, like fish and frogs. Even crayfish are her main diet most of the year. Of course, she will eat a little mammal, a rodent or so, if she needs to, but typically, this is where she's most comfortable. This forest provides food for her. It provides cover for her, for her to be able to nest here and to hunt here. So this is a healthy habitat where we're standing right by the Chattahoochee River. What are some things that could make this habitat not so healthy? Pollution. Yes, pollution can be in many forms, right? So pollution in the form of sediment. Have you guys ever walked in, over to a river or a lake after a really rainy day and seen what it looks like when the water looks like the color of mud almost? So what would that do? Keeps a lot of living things from being able to see their way around. It would keep this animal from being able to see her food in the water. And it would be a situation called erosion, where sediment runs down and keeps going until it gets into the body of water, the river nearby. And that's a form of pollution. That's one of our biggest problems here in this metro Atlanta area. We also have other pollutions that you guys could name. So you're thinking a little more chemical types, maybe insecticide, like you would put on a, a lawn. Those insects that we're trying to, to get rid of are eaten by almost every other animal out there. Do you think she eats insects? Not really. But the animals that she eats depend on insects for survival. So poisons, toxins are a problem for a lot of animals because they don't necessarily die like the insect might but their body will store a whole lot of this toxin inside for a period of time. And then they could have problems with their, their growth, their reproduction, all types of health issues. And we've seen that happen with barred owls, falcons, bald eagles, ospreys, all types of riparian birds who eat a lot of fish and frogs, animals that eat insects. So we are thinking today about a different type of pollution altogether when we talk about her story. You guys know that whole idea of trash on the ground is a form of pollution too, right? Um, I know you would never litter. You would never throw away anything in a very beautiful environment like this, but we do find all types of things out here that are problems. Styrofoam cups, water bottles, tennis balls, all types of things. Um, and when she came to us many years ago in 2002, she had had a run in with pollution that was very serious. She was out fishing one night 
down in South Georgia and ended up getting tangled up in a fishing hook that had been left on a tree. So it got caught in her right wing and it wrapped her wing up. She has arthritis on the right side that will never go away now. And when a fisherman came down the next morning and found her, she actually was tied up in this fishing line and her left wing had to be partially amputated, had to be removed, the finger parts of her wing, the flanges, because they were no longer able to be used. So she can never fly like she used to as a wild raptor. And she's gonna live here with us, continue her service as an ambassador with the Chattahoochee Nature Center. Um, barred owls are pretty incredible animals. When they have everything they need in their habitat, they manage to survive for a very long time. So think about animals like this. Next time you're near a lake or a river in that forest and you hear that sound that a barred owl makes, do you know it? You do know it. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Or, <laughs> and if you hear that, you will know you live in a very healthy habitat as well. Thank you for joining us today. And if you want to know more about some of our animals and the habitats in our Chattahoochee River area, stay tuned.